Nearly three weeks after Hurricane Matthew, reports of price gouging continue to inundate the Attorney General's office. 183 to be exact, eight of them against a popular car rental company with stores in Central North Carolina. CBS North Carolina's AJ Janavel is live at the AG's office tonight with one veteran story who saw his price double, and he's not alone, AJ. Now, officials here behind me at the Attorney General's office tell me that 183 number that you guys just mentioned is continuing to grow as the days go by. Now, that specific car rental company that you were talking about is Enterprise Rent a Car. And today, I spoke to a man down in Fayetteville who said he's basically fed up with what he had to go through over the last month. They said demands. Well, they were demands. And, and, I, and I said, that doesn't sound right to me. Wayman Smith has lived in Fayetteville for decades. He's an Army vet and now teaches in the Cumberland School District and even coaches football. He tells me he's been using a rental car from the Enterprise in Fayetteville to get around to all of his duties for the last month. But after Hurricane Matthew, his rates doubled. I was paying $30 a day. So that means when I brought it back on Monday, I would have to pay $60 a day. So for the first time in his life, Wayman Smith filed a report with the Attorney General for price gouging. There's a lot of people in Cumberland County going through a lot of things. They don't need this added problem. And he wasn't alone. We had um, eight complaints against, and they were all pretty similar. They were all alleging that the rental car company was charging basically double the price that it was charging before. Kevin Anderson is the director of the Consumer Protection Division for the Attorney General. He's fielded more than 180 calls since the storm, and he tells me the calls for Enterprise rent a car keep coming in. And it's not just in Fayetteville but Raleigh, Lumberton, Elizabeth City, and Boone. The Attorney General is officially investigating Enterprise Rent-A-Car and has filed a subpoena against the company. Smith tells me he just wants to make sure what happened to him doesn't happen to anyone else. I joined the military to serve my country. I'm not in the military anymore, but I can still serve my community. Now, I reached out to officials with Enterprise's corporate office today for comment from these claims. In part, they responded with this. We take the attorney general's comments very seriously and thoroughly review every complaint or concern. And officials here behind me with the attorney general say they're going to do the same thing as these complaints keep coming in. Reporting live here in Raleigh, I'm A.J. Janivelle for CBS North Carolina. All right.